Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar explored the Isle of Scarabray, or what's left of it, and found some stones of spirituality that let him speak to his old friend Shamino again. Turns out Shamino is indeed still stuck in the spirit realm and needs the Avatar's help to get out. He needs the Book of Truth, the Bell of Courage, and the Candle of Love in order to do this. So the Avatar's gotta go fetch all those. He's also got to find an onk of spirituality in order to enter the Well of Souls in the first place. Supposedly, Lord British has one of those in his bedroom, and that means a trip back to Britain now. So let's talk to Raven. Hey, lover. You still need to complete your quest for spirituality. I don't suppose you've gathered up all of the items that I need, have you? Now, if I did that, what would you do? Oh, retire to a small island near Buccaneer's Den with you? We can do that when you're finished. Come on, lazy man, you've got work to do. All right, all right. The Shrine of Spirituality, right? Right. I'm on it. Where would you like to go? I don't know why she's harassing him as if he's given up on the quest. This is what's next, Raven. We, we have to go to Britain. There's no other option. Britain. And let's see what the Avatar scribbled about that uh, wonderful little conversation there, right quick. I still need to complete the spirituality quest, as Raven just reminded me. It's kind of passive-aggressive. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Back to Castle British. But that's okay. I mean, we, we've got a, a couple things we want to do there. We're going to drop off some of that cool armor that we just found. And we're going to bind invisibility to the spell book. It's really cool that we found that. I wish we had found it uh, earlier when killing one of the other, I think, two liches that we've encountered so far. I think that's right. Not a big deal, though. Um, not a very stealthy avatar kind of just charge into everything anyway, so I'm not sure invisibility would have been used all that much. We've had black potions available to us pretty much the whole game and haven't used any of them because they just weren't needed. They wouldn't have changed the outcomes of any battles or anything. Greetings, avatar. Hey there. Yes, I'm back again. Just doing my thing. You know how it is. What if the guards ever just go up in there and are like, Dude, look at all the stuff the Avatar's collected. This sword is on fire. He's a jerk, and he stole that from the hedge maze. Oh, yeah, I guess he did. Okay. Well, we've got a pile of bone armor. Let's just add these pieces to the pile. We'll try all that on later and look very silly. We've also got these treasure maps that we no longer need. We have looked at uh, all the treasure maps, or followed all the treasure maps, rather. Well, both, of course. And then we've got some black rock armor, which is cool. We'll just put it over here with the black rock. And finally, we've got these plate arms that we'll put with the plate helm. And then as for things on this side of the room, we'll just put death right there. And we have that note from Blackthorn. I put it in the quest item bag because there wasn't really any other place to put it, but we don't need to be carrying that around. So we'll just leave it right there. That's fine. And we've got more serpent wine. The Avatar needs to open his own pub. 
at this point. Okay. Looking good. Now we want to bind invisibility. So let's take a look at that. I, it's not eighth circle. We know that. So there it is. Oh, this is an easy one. We need some blood moss and nightshade. Of course we need nightshade. So that's over here. Don't know why I always kept the nightshade over here. Just wanted to keep it. So, so there was an invisible one. I'm going to take the invisible one. Just so that it's... Yeah, the last one remaining is the one that we can see. Because how much more nightshade do we really need? Should only be one piece. And it's not for time stop. Um, not for teleport. Oh. We don't seem to need any more nightshade. In fact, this is it. Okay. Well, that's fine. And blood moss. We'll take that one right there. All right. So we're just gonna go bind that spell and then search Lord British's room for an Ankh of Spirituality. Because we're kind of going to need one. I'll go ahead and turn on the light. Yeah, we don't really need it, but eh. Okay. We got the blood moss. Nightshade, which is invisible. And the Scroll of Invisibility. Right there. Let's get the spellbook to the right page for Ignite. Oh, why'd I do that? I need to read the uh, incantation first. Sanct Lore. Okay. Sanct Lore. And invisibility is bound. Let's use it for fun real quick. Cool. That is uh, eating up the avatar's mana pretty quickly, I must say. And I think if you interact with anything, like in previous Ultimas, you will no longer be invisible. I am wrong. Oh boy. Hello. Hello there. Well, it can't work all that well, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Well, that was cool. We'll be sleeping anyway to get the, uh, the daylight back. Let's turn off the light. <laughs> okay. Well, back to Lord British's room then. Okay. Can we light this? Or ignite it, I mean. I feel like we should be able to. Yeah, that's that's nice. A little bit of light in here. We'll do these as well. For there is searching afoot. Nobody cleaned this up. I just left all this broken glass on the ground. Terrible. Okay. Well, Lord British, where you keeping your uh, Ankh of Spirituality? Hmm. Let's see. Not in his bed. Lord British's bed. Indeed it is. I wonder... I can get on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're up here now. Is that no longer lit? Maybe you just can't see the flame from over here. I don't know. Okay. Well, there's nothing here. I don't think for a moment I thought that might be a candle right there. Can we light his bed on fire? 
Nah. Okay. Maybe he put the onk in this bear's mouth. No. Doesn't seem so. Did he hide it under his clothes? Should look there first. No. Not there either. Uh, I think this mirror has already served its purpose. Oh, under the potted plant, of course. No. Hmm. Not there. Um, can we move these cushions? No. So it didn't fall between the uh, couch cushions like a remote. Hmm. Is it under the couch? No. It is not. It doesn't seem to be out here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's over here with the harpsichord. Could it be under the table? That's not a table. It's a seat. Doesn't matter because it wasn't under it anyway. Can we move the harpsichord? Nope. Well, I can slam on it, though. That's fun. This is still lit. I just couldn't really see it from atop Lord British's bed. No secret doors or anything. Well, that just leaves this. The sandalwood box, which is quite, uh, quite an important item in Ultima 5. Well, we can't move it, and we can't uh, interact with it, but given that everything else in here is pretty mundane and we've we've searched everywhere i'm really suspicious of the sandalwood box hmm <laughs> i stubbed my toe again well there's a harpsichord in his room and there's a harpsichord here, so maybe we should talk to the lady sitting at the harpsichord. Hello, Avatar. I hope that you're doing well. Uh, well enough, I suppose. <laughs> Is that a piano? Is that a piano? No, it's a harpsichord. It looks rather like a piano, but the instrument plucks the strings like a harp instead of striking the strings like a piano. It's Lord British's favorite instrument. You don't say. Hmm. What's that piece that you're playing? I mean, I don't hear her playing anything, but... <clears throat> just, she is. <laughs> She's playing a piece. What's that piece that you're playing? It's a song called Stones. Yolo wrote it years ago. Sometimes it seems that you can't go anywhere in Britannia without hearing it. I'm surprised that you've never heard it before. Yeah, it's just a short little ditty, not the whole thing. And you know, I would like to hear stones all throughout Britannia, but the only place that we've ever heard it was when we were near Yolo's cottage over there with uh, Gweno. So, uh, yes, please play stones while we're out in the wilderness. That would be really nice. Oh well. <laughs> I don't have the time for frivolities like music. Avatar. Yeah, why don't you say that, you jerk? I don't have time for frivolities like music. Oh, but music is not frivolous, Avatar. Music is an expression of the soul. Music is important, even in the darkest of times. Okay. That was a, you know, meaningful exchange. Thank you. <laughs> so now the Avatar, who uh, doesn't even know what this instrument is, would like to play for a bit. May I try to play a bit? Certainly. Here, just take the sheet music and place it on the harpsichord so it's easy to read. Now, just use the harpsichord to let the music flow out of you. And she's being quite literal about that. Uh, we've been given the Stones music. Can't read it or anything. 
but we're supposed to throw it on the harpsichord, and uh, then we should be able to play stones. We'll just take that back. Hmm. So that's Lord British's favorite piece of music. And he's got a harpsichord in here. And we haven't had any luck finding that Ankh of Spirituality so far. What if... Is, is that not how you place your sheet music uh, at your piano or harpsichord? Because that's how the Avatar places his music on his piano or harpsichord. Let's play Stones. Huh. So the whole sandalwood box is gone and has been replaced with an onk of spirituality. Okay, okay. Let's take that. I have found the Ankh of Spirituality. This is the sigil of spirituality. And Lord British has been hoarding it all to himself. <laughs> but, but really, uh, we now have the mantra, which is Om, and the sigil of spirituality. All we need now is the glyph of spirituality. Of course, you know, it might get a little complicated, what with the whole Shamino thing and all, and having to find the uh, Book of Truth and the Bell of Courage, and what would normally be the uh, quest for the Candle of Love as well at this point, but we've already got that, because we're explorers. We explored it. Let's take that. We might want to have that with us. Let's also have a nap. For in the morning, we sail back to Scarabray to enter the Well of Souls by using the Ankh of Spirituality that we just procured from Lord British's bedroom. It's stormy out there. That should do it. And the quest continues. Hey there. Hello, Avatar. Good morning. Greetings, Avatar. How you doing? Back through Britain once again to Raven so that we can sail to Scarbray and have a nice little swim to reach the temple of souls and maybe do something about that weird pseudo column that was barring entry to the well of souls it's gotta happen look at all these daggers lying around from or, or short swords rather from uh, killing that bandit that appears. Quite lovely. Oh, that rat is getting uh, kind of aggressive, isn't it? Now it's out here. Hey, warehouse rat. Avatar. Seven coins. Like, what are you hitting? Do better. Have I tried to get rid of this barrel before? I guess not. What do we got there? We got some, uh, those apples? I, I, I'm not allowed to see what they are. They're oranges. Have you seen, you know what, come to think of it, have you seen any apple or orange trees in Britannia? <laughs> I'm not sure I have. Oh well. 
Maybe they're imported from Serpent Isle or something. Hey there, handsome. So where are we off to now? You... You know where we're off to now. You know what we're doing. Oh, well. It's, uh, it's just recycling the uh, dialogue state because all of this stuff is still here. Let's just skip it. I'd like to go somewhere else. Where would you like to go? Well, back to Scarabray. Scarabray. Hey everybody, I'm back, and I can turn invisible now. Not going to though. We can quite capably handle anything that this island throws at us. We've done it before after all. Hello Avatar, they may- Well, maybe not that. Can't take those proximity dialogue triggers. No sir. But I will kill this crab. It has been killed. I'll take 80 coins. May bless. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You'll notice I got stopped there, or stuck, or whatever. Um, it's because of the sentinel. I, I guess it's uh, the the area that it occupies is somehow extended out to here, even, which is obnoxious. Doesn't make a lot of sense. The gazer's back. We could kill a gazer. That's fun. May blessings be upon you, worthy ab- Wow. Yeah, I guess that is close enough to trigger. Anyway. Combat. Oh, I can't reach it from here. <laughs> no, stop. Hold on. Hold on. I need to get you from over here. That was stupid. Did you follow me? No. That's better. You're dead now, aren't you? No? Okay. Wow, they uh, they take quite a bit of damage. I'm, I'm kind of used to everything just falling over dead now with a couple pokes from the Black Rock Sword, but it's not always the case. Okay, back to the Temple of Souls. Got some jank, though. There we are. All better. Well, mostly. It's still a little janky. Yeah, that'll do. Ooh, I see a mean fishy. I see a mean fishy. Hmm. I would like to kill the mean fishy. Let's see about that. Can't get close enough. Okay, I press T. Hi! <laughs> That's wonderful. You're dead. Very good. So back in we go. Breath meter refreshed there. That is good. Yeah, the uh, you get forced upward right there, and then you kind of get stuck. Don't like that very much, but we're okay. And we heard the weird little noise, and yeah, it's because we've got the onk of spirituality. So. The Well of Souls is now finally accessible. We'll put that right there. You know, traditionally, jumping into the Well of Souls has led to bad things involving trapped souls or explosions. But uh, you know what? I'm sure it's fine. OK. 
Okay. Well, it's pretty. I like the lights. We're definitely somewhere else now. Got an onk here. Does it do anything? Nope. So this is the other side of the Well of Souls that was destroyed in uh, Ultima 7 Part 1 as part of uh, freeing all the trapped souls that Horus had imprisoned during his time as a lich. This is not supposed to exist. This should not be here. And yet it is. This is another case of, you know what? I bet the players would love to see something from one of the previous Ultimas. We'll have a nice callback. Oh, good. It's eyes. That's just fantastic. Yeah, another case of, let's just put that in the game again and, uh, everybody will love it, right? Yeah. Just, just love it. Not gonna nitpick it or anything. Whatever. Well... Why is that one lit and that one isn't? That's gonna bother me. Can we fix that? Oh no, I can't. Is that too far away? Look, the, oh wait, it is lit. It's just smoking. But I don't, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's already, it's already lit. This doesn't look like it. That's fine. Well, we've got some folks to uh, talk to here, it looks like. And we'll do that in the next video. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you then.